Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D and Gemini. This is going to be your April horoscope for 2021. And just to recap for the year, all right, everybody started out with the ancestor. That's the card of the year, listening to their own beat, walking through the birch trees. All right, starting on a new path, whatever type of path that is, financial path, spiritual path, uh, you know, emotional path, whatever it is. Okay, you're listening to that, to your own universal beat, you know, however that's moving for you. Okay, and you're moving forward on that spiritual path. That was your goal. January, you started out with the Ace of Stones, creating a new foundation during the month of January. All right, saying to yourself, you know what? I'm going to get back to basics. I'm going to lay a great foundation for this year. Last year wasn't so good, 2020 with COVID, but this year, I'm, I'm starting off, you know, with something solid, getting a good foundation. The Knight of Vessels came to you in February, and, you know, as you were setting that, setting those foundations, maybe, maybe some anxiety, you know, got into you, all right? Maybe you were looking for different ways that you can wade through the water and slide, you know, slither through the water, all right? Now, knight, knights are all about um, uh, tacticians as well as fighters, so maybe in February there was a you know a fight or flight situation going on, and this court card you know showed up during the month of February, and it was asking you, okay, where are your emotions running high? What do you need to do to step back to you know continue building on that foundation that you have? All right. And at the other side of that, you know, where do you need to express your sensitivity? Water, you know, the the, the vessels are all about water energy. It's all about emotions. All right, so maybe in February you had to keep your emotions in check, you know, with what's going on. March was not a good month either, okay, because it was, it was frustrating. You weren't, you know, here you are, you set this foundation, all right, your emotions may be running high a little bit, and as a result, you are not steady like the archer trying to hit that goal, and you become frustrated, all right? Now... You know, I look at this and I say to myself, you know, when I'm when I'm reading these, that okay, this card here for the month of March is telling me that I'm going to be frustrated. But at, at the same time, it's also telling you not to become frustrated. It's how you want to look at it. Which path are you on? All right, are you going to be on a path where you're going to let this goat come at you, and you're going to waste your resources, or are you going to be you know what? I know I'm going to get frustrated. I need to slow down. I need to take my time. I need to focus on what the goal is. And maybe you had that opportunity in March. Okay. So let's look at what's going to happen here in the month of April. For you, Gemini. So shuffle the cards. And what I'll do is I'll do the same thing as I did last month. I'll pull one card for the month. And then I'll pull four cards for each week. And uh, the month card will be a theme. And then we'll tie the uh, the other cards of the weeks into that theme. So what is going to, Gemini, what's your theme for the month of month of April? What does the universe have for you in the month of April for your theme? And that's going to be represented by Six of Arrows, Transition. Okay, so here you've laid that, that groundwork, that foundation of life. You realize your emotions are running high. Okay, you're, you need to be sensitive to a different area. And, you, you know, you were frustrated. Or maybe, you, you know, you realize you're going to be frustrated and you put some things into place. Okay, the Six of Arrows is coming through telling you there's going to be a transition. You're going to be moving from, um, you know, one shoreline to the next. You may be stepping foot in different waters, but the wind is in your sails, Gemini. Okay, you've got a full sail there. You are guiding that, that queen of vessels, that swan boat into a new pond, into a new arena. So that's good. That's good for what you have coming up in April. Springtime is coming, and, you know, it's going to be a good, a good opportunity to, uh, you know, get out there, do some yard work, get into a zen moment, maybe, you know, start a new workout procedure. You know, whatever it was that you wanted to set up for that, that foundation of life, that foundation of, uh, of stones, all right, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, financial, psychological, spiritual, whatever it is that you're creating that groundwork for. 
in April you're going to be moving toward it. Okay, so let's see what happens that first week of April, Gemini. And that's going to be represented by a challenge, which doesn't surprise me. If you're in a transition, there's going to be some challenges coming up. Okay, if you're moving from state to state, there might be some logistical challenges coming up. Okay, second week, there's going to be some insecurity. You know, because you're, you're, you're questioning your decision. The king of vessels during that third week, that heron, okay, will give you an idea of um, where you're going to be at emotionally. And in that fourth week of April, what a great way to end it. The wheel. You've got fate and destiny at your hand. Okay. So this month you're in that... You're in that mode of transition. That transition of, you know, maybe setting something up materialistic for you. All right? Or whatever that whatever that foundation is that you set. You set a great foundation. You're standing on it. Okay? And you realize your emotions were getting high with that night of vessels, and maybe you came frustrated. This is a great month in April to put those, put that, uh, Put that foundation that you're standing on into motion. All right? Arrows is all about error, logic, and reasoning. And, you know, maybe you've had that time to think about it. And you say, you know what? Now's a good time to put, this, you know, put in some things in, in motion. I've got this, this queen of vessels moving me forward. All right? I'm going to move from this point here to this point here. And I've got that great foundation. Obviously, it's not a house. You're not going to move a house because that would be a different foundation. But if it's a foundation in belief, if it's a foundation in, um, you know, let's say your assets, you know, something that doesn't have to move. It stays in the bank account, and then you move around all that. So that's what that Six of Arrows is, is, is talking about. During that first week, it might be a challenge. All right. Let's look at the, the analogy of, of retirement. Maybe this month you retire. You've decided, you know what? I looked at it in January, and it's a good opportunity. Or, you know, if it's a job situation. It's, you know, anytime you move into uh, uncharted waters, which that Six of Arrows, that transition is talking about, you, there could be a challenge out there. You might have to, um, during this first week of April, you might have to, you know, I don't want to say fight for your life, but maybe mark your territorial rights, which these you know box hairs are doing. Okay, standing up for yourself. Okay, if you're moving in from one job to another, maybe you've made that decision. You know, this could be just you know creating your mark on what's happening in this first week of April. Just know that there's going to be some challenges up there, and it's, there's, there might be some jealousy as well. All right, but stand up for who you are. Okay, you you made that decision. You've got a strong foundation. You made that decision to move forward. Okay, go with the flow. Go with the punches. All right. Let that challenge come to you because you know without the challenge you're not going to be able to learn. And you know maybe that was your frustration in in March. April's telling you move forward. Take on those challenges because when you take on the challenges you end up learning and growing. At the same time, that second week when you're taking on all the challenges, okay, this is this is an either or card. This is how I'm going to put it to you. Okay, seven of arrows in security. You've got a choice in that second week. With the challenges that confronted you during the first week, you can stand on that rock and let people throw arrows at you and get caught up in all the all the junk. Okay, and become insecure. All right. Let it affect your emotions, you know, let it affect your well-being, you know, and just, you know, woe is me. Or you could use this card and say, you know what, this is how this week is going to go for me. It's going to be, I'm going to feel insecure, but I'm going to do the opposite. I'm not going to let these arrows get to me. I'm not going to let these vines tie me up into the gossip. I am not going to take on the woe is me attitude. Okay, I'm going to step down off this rock, okay, and I'm going to, I'm just going to face whatever I have to, you know, ignore, I'm going to have to ignore stuff, 
and let it roll off me, or I'm going to have to face those critics and just say, hey, look, what is your problem? You know, because you're in a transition mode. You're moving. That six of arrows is, is the theme of the month, and you're moving. You're moving to something greater and better. And maybe people see that and they don't understand it. Maybe they're insecure because, you know, you're not going with the flow. Use this as a positive during that second week. And you can use that two of stones as a positive as well, all right, to help you grow. The third week comes out that king of vessels, that heron. All right, now kings rule the kingdom. The vessel's all about emotional energy, all right, water energy. And the heron, you know, he's, he's that type of bird where uh, we see him in the um, see him in the moon card, all right, as he's flying through the moon. We also see him in the next card that's coming up in the wheel. And we also see him um, in another card. I can't think of it right now. All right. The, uh, the, uh, the mirror card. All right. The heron is letting you know to follow your dreams. Okay. Focus on the dreams that you have. All right. Take on that authoritative kingly aspect that the king represents of, of ruling that kingdom of, of dreams and psychic ability. Okay. That third week, pay attention and let your intuition guide you on what's moving forward. Now, now the questions that the, the king of uh, vessels ask is where do you need to be more tolerant? As you're moving into transition this month and you've got these challenges and this insecurity, maybe there's a lot of junk going on at work. Maybe there's a lot of junk going on up here in your head, all right, with finances and relationships. Ask yourself during this third week of April, where do you need to be more tolerant? Okay. The other question that you ask is, is who's depending on you for support? You know, is this just a transition for you? Or, you know, is it a transition for your family? Is it, is it a work transition? You know, what's going on with the work? You know, there's a lot of that going around. The challenges and the insecurity that are there. Who's depending on you to stay strong? Who's depending on you to show that support? So that's the third week in, in April. And in the fourth week of April, you know, there's that hearing card. Three of them sitting off in the back. You're the maker of your own destiny. You control your fate. That's what the wheel stands for. It's, it's a major arcana card. And it's telling you, you can do whatever you want to do. You want to make that, that shirt red, you can, make it, you can make it red. You want to make the wheel, um, you know, of life into something different? That's up to you. You control that loom. You control the aspects of what's going to happen during that fourth week of April, moving into your birthday month. Okay, maybe you already have towards the end of April. Okay, going into May. You've got control of that. You control the loom, you control the design, you control whatever's there. And the herons that are in the background, I don't know if you can see them, they're, they're helping guiding you. That third week, when you trust that heron, when you trust that king of vessels, that's going to open up something big for you because you're going to have that decision, a life lesson to make. And you're going to say to yourself, you know, this month is all about transition. And I've got the opportunity to create my own destiny, to weave my own fate. What a great message, Gemini. So there you have it. Just to recap, this month, month of April, six of arrows, you're in transition. You're going to have some challenges in that first week. Don't let that insecurity um, hold you back during that second week. Listen to the king of vessels. All right. Focus on your intuition. Ask yourself, where do you need to be more tolerant? You know, and who's depending on you? And just know that that last week, you're going to be able to make your own your own destiny. Weave your own fate, however you want to look at it. All right, Gemini, that's your message for the month of, of uh, April. 
Six of Arrows transition. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others. And this is D for Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you next month in the month of May. Take care. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.